Hey Womaners, Happy New Year, Happy 2017, and welcome to the Woman Community. Please uh, join me in welcoming Danielle to our community also. Um, it's her first post, and in this post she talks about something that she says to an Uber driver that made her boyfriend break up with her, and she's talking about the pain and how she's processing it and what she's thinking about as she thinks about possibly dating again, the fears that go along with that. Um, and it's a, it's a really it's a vulnerable post, and I appreciate that courage. Um, Danielle, what, there's a lot that sticks out to me here, and I, I think I, what I appreciate the most is the way that you just like say it like it is, and you also let us see your anger and your pain. Um, and that's something that I struggle with sometimes, is, is letting that raw emotion come out. So I, I appreciate that. Um, the other thing that really stands out to me is your question here of whether you made too many mistakes to finally be found unlovable. Um, and I've been there before, that hurts, that question hurts, and it's easy to personalize things that other people do to us as maybe indicators of our self-worth or our lovability. Um, and when I'm in a similar situation, what I find helpful for me to do is to really ask myself why. Like, why is that something that I'm, that, why is that my default belief in this case? Like, where does that come from? And once I understand where something comes from, that's when I find I have the ability to do something different, to act different. And um, that's important because our, our actions end up influencing our beliefs, which end up influencing our sense of identity. So if you want an identity where you feel lovable and you want to believe that you're lovable, act so in a way that, that uh, affirms you're lovable. And of course you are. Um, I have been going through the process recently with a health coach of writing down stream of consciousness the things that I want in a guy or a companion. Um, that's something that that I w would love to have. Um, and it's been really valuable, so I wanna share the processes, the steps that we've gone through. Um, we wrote out, like just, she asked me to stream of consciousness, write out what I thought I wanted. And for me, a lot of those things ended up being kind of actions or external things. Um, and that's pretty common apparently. Um, but then we went through and grouped those actions, quote unquote, like, you know, is he X feet tall? Or, you know, does he do these things, have these hobbies? Um, and we kind of took it to the next level of asking what kind of essence or qualities will this guy have if these are the kind of actions or behaviors that he's got in his life. Um, and then we prioritized them. So she asked me to pick like the three that I thought were the most important to me. And looking at um, people through the lens of who they are as opposed to how they act, um, it, it's more of like a, a true lens. And then obviously prioritizing helps me focus. Um, and she asked me a really important question after that, which was, of these qualities, like what are the ones in you, that you already have in yourself that are really vibrant, that, that like match what you're looking for? And then where, what's the main area that you can work on as yourself um, to become this person? And the reason for that is basically the person that we are dictates the kind of people that we attract. Um, so that's something that I've been thinking about and have found um, found to be valuable enough that I thought I'd pass it on. And, and I'll, I'll pass on another quote from a mentor that um, she's mentioned to me in particular related to anything, but it does apply to love in this case, um, which is the... The degree to which you treat yourself is the same kind of treatment you'll accept from other people. Um, now this is a challenge for everybody, including myself, Danielle, so I hope you don't feel like I'm talking at you. Um, but as you are moving forward this year and opening yourself up to new possibilities with someone that loves you, um, I hope that you, I wish you, find someone who loves you as much as you cultivate love for yourself. So again, thank you for this post and welcome. Can't wait for your next one.